What is going on? This is Altona and welcome to another absolutely fantastic Friday. Um, have quite a few nice deals on some products that are um, at this point, if you purchase, they should still arrive before Christmas. So if you're looking for some gifts, if you have some la last minute ideas and whatnot, things that you want to jump into and jump on, then this is a great place to do that. So um, normally I go live on Fridays this time pretty much every Friday. Sometimes I change things up a little bit and do things at the last minute or last second. But today I'm pretty much on on point. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get right into what I have here for you on Amazon Live today. So the very first product that I have is one and what I normally do is I set my my uh, carousel up so that I show you the least expensive things up front and then we move through and I try to categorize everything I have on my carousel. But today I actually have a promo code on the HS720G and I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you so that you could take advantage of it. And again, right now from my, uh, as I'm looking at Amazon, it should arrive before Christmas if you order it today. So $269.99 and I have a 5% promo code attached to it as well. And like I said, this is, it, it is really a fantastic, fantastic. And I've got my stack of, make sure I'm not rolling over my cables. Normally I try to situate my cables <laughs> so that they're not in the way. But um, I do have the 720G right here behind me and I'll grab that while you take a look at this. So let me know if you have any questions about it, of course. This is the HS720G. Awesome drone. What is going on? My name is Alton and this is the Holy Stone HS720G. So it does have GPS, it, it does have a 4K camera and in-body stabilization on the camera itself. What comes in the box with this fantastic beginner drone is the Holy Stone HS720G itself, a semi hard shell case, the transmitter, one drone battery, a full set of replacement props, a USB to USB C charging cable, screwdriver, and a user manual. And just to tell you a little bit about the drone itself, it has a 4K camera mounted on a two axis gimbal. The gimbal itself will stabilize the angle as well as the horizon of the camera. And the in-body stabilization will help with stabilizing the roll of the camera as you're rotating it on its yaw axis. And some of the specifications of this drone are that it has a 4K camera mounted on a two axis gimbal, EIS stabilization, it weighs 377 grams, a total of 26 minutes of flight time per battery, a micro USD card slot, and it used the Aphelia Fly app, a free app that you can download from the Apple App Store or from the Google Play Store. So there's quite a few different things that makes this drone great for beginners. One of them is the price point. The other is the durability. This is a very durable drone. If you get into or have a couple of minor crashes, for the most part, you should only really have to replace your props and you can get back out and fly again. It does only come with one battery, which keeps the cost down, but I'd also suggest that you purchase a few extra batteries for this guy as well. Again, fantastic drone. I've had so much fun with it and for capturing video and photo for social media, it's a fantastic drone for that purpose. So thank you so much for stopping by. I truly hope this helped you out in some way. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. So like I said, absolutely fantastic drone. I don't know if you paid attention or noticed the video coming out of this guy in the um, in the video that I shared. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw the video coming out of it. It is, and I do happen to like uh, to oversaturate my video. If you're somebody who is doing editing, you're editing your video, you can edit the video out of this very, very well. It works very well. And if you don't like, that saturation, that, that, that fullness of saturation of the video, the way I do, you can also pull a little bit of that saturation out and really get a, a, a nice, nice clean, clean video out of it as well. It does have an SD card, as I mentioned in the, in the uh, video, uh, SD card slot, excuse me, SD card slot. does not come with an SD card, but uh, does have an SD card slot and again, comes with a battery. 
very, very stable and two axis gimbal in body stabilization, uh, in camera stabilization. So what that essentially means is that um, you will get where you have some of the more expensive drones are three axis gimbals. This was a two axis. And so it stabilizes your um, angle of the, ca of the camera itself, the, uh, the yaw or the roll axis, and then, uh, excuse me, yeah, and then your horizon. Let me, get, get, let, me, let me say that. I was actually incorrect. It, stabilize, it doesn't stabilize the yaw, but it does stabilize your, your horizon. And then the in-body stabilization takes care of the yaw. So when you're rotating, some of your more expensive drones will also, they, the gimbal, that third axis, is it actually slows down the pan from left to right where this guy does that in the stabilization in the camera. And you're able to see that in the video that I actually shared as well. This is truly an awesome, awesome 4K drone, very capable of providing you with fantastic video and, and photos and whatnot. Like I said, you should have been able to see that in the video. If you do ever want to go back and look at the video that I'm creating or I've created um, that demo reel that I shared with you, you can always go to my storefront. Like I said, I have it right here on the top of the screen. Go to my storefront and look up the video and you should be able to find the video for this or go to my YouTube channel, Altone Tech, and I have them posted there as well. Awesome, awesome drone. The, the, uh, the controller gives you a lot of information back to let you know what your battery life is on the controller as well as on the drone and your distance away and all of that. These are things that you'll see in the app, of course, but you'll also see many of those things here on the on the drone itself as well. It does. You, the only thing you'll need to do is get two AA batteries um, for the for the controller, which are not included. Again, fantastic, fantastic drone, and I absolutely, absolutely love it myself. Um, like I said, we got a promo code for this guy for. 5% off. So make sure you take advantage of that while you have the opportunity. It is really, really a fantastic, fantastic uh, um, drone. So the other one, which is also a 4K drone that I really like, I, I've recently gotten an opportunity to check it out, is the 710. The 710 also comes with a case, and this is the case of the 7. Um, the HS720G. The 710 also comes with a case and it is a, like I said, it's also a very nice drone. Let's see, the 710 is, hmm. yeah, this should be it right here. <laughs> this one, the case is black. There's a couple of them that the case is actually black on. This is a really nice one as well, 4K as well. Should be less than 249 grams with the battery installed, but we're going to check that. I'm, I like to because I keep a, a scale. I have so many drones, sometimes I forget, and this is pretty much close to that 249 gram mark. So this one should be a little bit less expensive. Um, uh, not less expensive. Less, uh, it should be less than 249 grams, <laughs> but um, I like to keep my scale. I have a nice little kitchen scale I keep here so that I can be sure to tell you truthfully if this guy is less than 249 grams and I'm I'm weighing it right now at 251 and I'm sure that and that that may be that my scale is a little off and it is that's exactly what it is um change back to grams and zero this back out and well, I'm still getting 251. It should be less than 249. I think my scale may be off just by a little bit. But great, great drone. So let's go ahead and check this one out. I actually call him the uh, Cyclops. That's that's my name for it because of the look. It actually reminds me of something I've seen in in a science fiction movie. The way it looks, it, it looks so familiar to me Maybe off an alien movie or something, the way that this front or the top is made. But um, let's see. I was trying to see where your power button is, if I can remember where that is. Power button's on the, on the back of the battery. So you've got LED lights on the back 
two LED lights on the front. You got your um, uh, shock mounted, shock mounted 4K camera and your SD card slot on the side. Fantastic, fantastic drone and very stable as well. So let's see, HS710, check this out. What is going on? My name is Altone, and this is the Holystone HS710 4K drone with GPS. So if you're really looking for a 4K drone with GPS that is less than 249 grams, this might be a very good option for you. This is the Holystone HS710. It is a fantastic little drone and I've enjoyed flying it so far. So what comes in the box is the black semi hard shell case, which I think is fantastic. The Holystone HS710, two batteries, the controller, extra props, a screwdriver, and an instruction manual. And on the 710 itself up front, you have a shock mounted 4K camera, your folding arms with brushless motors, your status LED lights on the front arms, your power button, which is actually located on the back of the battery, your battery compartment, which will hold your battery, and your micro SD card slot, which will take a max size of 32 gigs. And again, this is truly a fantastic, fantastic little drone in that it even has built-in GPS. Uh, you can adjust the camera angle from the controller. Dual load stabilization. It has GPS and optical flow positioning, and it also has multiple flight functions in the app. So all I can really say about the Holystone HS710 is this. Holystone, with every single drone, as they come out, for me personally, I believe they've just gotten better and better. And here you have a nice 4K drone, less than 249 grams that you can take out and fly. It's durable, it can take some abuse so that you can graduate to more expensive drones in the future. So again, fantastic, fantastic product by my humble opinion. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope this helped you out. Have a fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you. So, the 710 obviously is less than 249 grams. I'm not sure what's going on with my kitchen, my kitchen weight today. Um, normally, because that's the, the very thing that I use, and I actually verify. If they say they're less than 249, I usually weigh them. And um, right now, I'm getting 251 today. At two grams over. I do not. I do. I don't know why. Maybe something's going on with my scale, and it's time for it to be upgraded, or maybe the battery's going low or something. I don't know. But less than 249 grams, 4K drone, and these are usually very durable. So very nice drone. And today um, it is currently 189 dollars let's go over here 189 dollars and 99 cent but there's also a 10 dollar clippable coupon that you can you can add to your savings there so i say this i always say this as you drop anything as you're shopping through the carousel always check um, to see when you click on it make sure if there's a coupon there that you add that coupon I'm always going to try to make sure that you're aware of those or usually when I do my do my live streams, I'm looking for the ones that actually have deals on them to share with you. I've got a ton, 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 ton of drones and not always do they have deals on them. So I try to make sure that I hone in as we go into these live streams, hone in to the ones that actually have deals going on at the time. So you'll get an opportunity to... Uh, uh, know that that's available for you and, and take advantage of it then. But uh, again, another great drone, great drone and less than 249 grams, where like the 720 is more than 249 grams, which means that you're going to have to register it in the U.S. And that's the thing. Um, things are getting a little bit interesting when it comes to registration of drones in the U.S. So you're going to want to make sure that you are aware of those regulations and whatnot locally and otherwise. And this is the other thing I will tell you about that. Um, I'm planning on and I'm working on it. So I have this portfolio sitting over here. It's not in the, this is from Amazon, but it's not in the, in the um, carousel right as of yet. Um, I'm getting ready to put it together. I'm gonna put together a kit of things that I think that anyone 
who is a drone pilot. Um, just some, some suggestions. You don't have to pick the, the, the products that I'm talking about specifically, but suggestions on products and a kit to put together so that when you go out to fly your drone, um, you don't have to worry about local authorities and that kind of thing. Um, you, will, you, won't, you will need to check local regulations and all of that. But when you go out to fly, at least any paperwork or any documentation or anything that you need, your certificates, your trust certification um, printed, uh, uh, the uh, community-based organization that you are following and, and following their safety guidelines, you'll have that all in one little kit as well as the tools that you might need in case your drone has some issues things like that i plan on putting all of that together i'm going to do a video on my youtube channel and i'm also going to do one um, here on amazon live so that you have the opportunity to check that out as well so the next one is the 440 so the, the the 440 did I move that I guess I didn't take it out so what I've been trying to do to save some time is taking these guys out of the box okay the 440 is down here I actually put it down here a little bit smaller getting a little bit smaller so we know that this is less than 249 grams and it is a awesome drone as well the 440 is is it's one of my favorites, honestly. One of my favorite um, 1080 uh, Full HD camera drones. Truly one of my favorite. Nice little case, and it, of course, less than 249 grams, currently $99.99. Normally, it was normally 138, and absolutely fantastic little drone as well. The video and whatnot coming out of it, I believe our video and photos are very, very good. So check it out. This is me out flying it around in a soccer field. Extremely stable. I was really surprised at how stable it was. Um, HD camera it does have a couple of, of uh, autonomous flight modes that you can use in the app and fly it around. And like I said, just a great all around drone. Pretty quick, pretty quick. Comes with a single battery, like I said, in the case. That's a circle fly, or well, a spin. It does a spin and a, a circle fly, which I sh I'm pretty sure I put it in, there it is, in that circle fly where it just flies in the circles. And then, of course, you can take back over control. If you hit any, if you move the sticks at all while it's doing one of these functions, you can uh, take back control of it. This is what it looks like through the app. Just a photo that I took, a couple of photos. And I mean, to, it's not even on a gimbal, and I think those look very, very nice. Uh, very good, you know, very good photos. The controller for it is pretty much a standard controller that uh, Holy Stone sends out with most of their drones. So if you get used to this controller with this particular drone, the next two drones that I'll be talking about have the exact same controller on them and it is, it, they, they work out very well. So again, fantastic little drone. It's not very large. I should have been taking it out while <laughs> the video was going but uh, not very large at all. It does have an SD card slot, so it will, you will, or you can put an SD card in it. Um, like I said, it comes with a single battery though, and not very large, not very intimidating. Absolutely great beginner drone because, uh, like I said, it's pretty stable. It's got just enough size to be stable and take a little bit of, a little bit of wind, but it's also small enough not, not to be intimidating. And like I said, just, just a really, really nice and well put together drone. Shock mounted and uh, angle adjustable from the controller. You can adjust the angle of the camera from the controller and shock mounted. So you saw from the video, it looked pretty good. It looked pretty stable. And it's because of the shock mount in the drone uh, um, as a part of the camera mounted to the drone. You will have to be aware that if you have somewhat uh, windy days or it's going to hit it, hit a little bit of turbulence in the air 
um, and it starts to vibrate quite a bit, you may have a little bit of shake in your video. But um, what I say is a couple of things. One of them is when you start to fly, um, you just turn the, turn the camera on and go ahead and, and let it sit in different places for a, a, a little bit of time or do whatever movements it is that you want to do. Your video is going to be more stable while it's moving. Um, or at least it's going to seem more stable while the drone is actually in motion. And, um, and what else? If you're going to take photos with it, again, shock mount it, but make sure that the, the, the drone is pretty stable and then take your photos. And uh, those, those should turn out pretty well as well, just like mine did. Don't see a lot of blurriness in the photos or anything. So it does a great job, and I really, really like this drone. It's one of my favorites as well. So the next one is in a, it's too bad. There was, there, there's, this one is a really, really great deal, still a really great deal, but these are also very good beginner drones. And the reason why now the 440 is um, um, less than 249, uh, less than 249 grams, but the, the, um, of course, the 430s, and I have two of them here, a white one and a black one. The black one is $52 right now, and the white one is $45 right now in the carousel. The white one is great, and let me tell you why. I would get the white one now. If you have multiple family members and you want to purchase one, if you're looking at purchasing a 430, and just the 430 and, and you just want to get one, go ahead and purchase the white one. The price seems to be a little bit better right now. And it, the white one comes with three batteries where the black one only comes with two. I'm not sure why they did that. I have no idea, but just, just a thing. But anyway, um, all of the specifications and everything from the 430 is pretty much the same for both drones. But here's a video on, actually, yeah. Here's a video on the 430. This is the Holystone HS430 in black. An absolutely fantastic little beginner drone for indoor and outdoor flying. The Holystone did send this little guy out to me for me to try out. Of course, in one of my favorite colors, or actually my favorite color, black little drone, and it can be flown indoors and outdoors. I've actually been flying this guy around my office space and taken it out and flown it quite a few times, and I've enjoyed it. And it is a fantastic beginner drone for anyone who wants to get out and really learn how to fly. And what comes in the box with this nice little beginner drone is the HS430 itself, the controller, two batteries, a USB charging cable, a screwdriver, two spare sets of props, and the instruction manual, which I suggest that you absolutely go through and learn about the drone before you take it out to fly. In the front, you have the status LED light, the camera, which you can adjust manually, four props and motors on foldable arms, rear battery compartment, and your power button, which is on the bottom of the drone, which is also a status LED. So this will be one of those drones that I'm gonna be flying indoors this winter or any time that I'm not able to get outside and fly because of weather. It's a fantastic drone to get practice in and really learn how to fly and control a drone in the air. Get acclimated to the direction that the drone is actually facing. I truly hope that you enjoy your HS430 as much as I have. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. So like I said, the HS430, they are both awesome, awesome drones, um, white or black. The only difference is the white one comes with three batteries where the black one only comes with two. Everything else on the drone and what it comes with is, is exactly the same. And they're good for indoor and outdoor flight. Fantastic little drones. And of course, if you want to, you know, have little race, race wars and all that kind of stuff, then get one of each. Just make sure that you pair them individually before you take off and start flying. And you should be good to go. You can fly them together with no problem because they are using a 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, system as well. So the next one that I have is a little bit larger, 
a little bit more expensive, but it's still a very nice, very nice drone. And that is the HS, HS, <laughs> can't talk, HS 280, which is a little bit, a little bit bigger, but it's still less than 249 grams. And it still um, can handle up to, let's see, uh, it can, it can handle a little bit of wind based on the size. Do, 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 do. And here we go. The 280 is right. Let me know if you have any questions on these. I'm just kind of chugging through them. I'm really just wanting to give you the opportunity to, um, I'm trying to be here for you if you have questions and also give you the opportunity to see the drone in my hand to see, you know, what the size, what it looks like, that kind of thing. And um, also share information with you. Um, hopefully a little bit like a demo video. This one also has an adjustable uh, camera angle, but it can be adjusted from the controller. With like the 430 that I was just showing, they're manual ca camera angle adjustable. This one is adjustable while it's in the air. You can actually adjust the camera angle from the controller itself, which is, which is fantastic. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So check this out. So again, this is HS280. This is the controller. I like the card that they put on top of the controller. It lets you know what all of the functions are on the controller itself. It is white, so if you're flying it in a park, the top is white, so it's a little bit easier to see. Less than 249 grams. This guy's actually weighed in at 155 grams and pretty stable in the air. It's, it, as you can see, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty stable. I almost ran into that sign though, by the way, but I do, a, I, I purposely fly them at full speed around this little park area to see how well I can control them and all of that. Um, but I, of course, will not fly too close to people or, or over people as I'm doing my testing, but it is absolutely a fantastic, fantastic little drone. Like I said, the, um, the controllers is still very easy to use. It is a little bit different than the other controllers. Um, I do like this one because the phone holder in the top, I believe is a little bit stronger than the one on the others, but they all work and I have yet to drop a phone um, or a mobile device from any of these controllers as I was using them. Now, one thing I will tell you about all of them is you want to get a thin um, phone case. I use this one. Now I've dropped my phone in this case. This is my monocarbon um, case that I use and this is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I use this, get a thin phone case and, and actually cover your screen as well. I do have a screen cover that is cracked because I've dropped my phone quite a few times, but the phone itself is like it was brand new out of the box. I mean, so, um, but I have never dropped one out of one of my I've never dropped my phone out of one of my uh, out of one of my controllers before. That's just not happened. Some of them seem to be a little bit more sturdy than others, but um, this particular drone, I really like the phone holder for it. It works extremely well. So the next one is the HS420, which is also a fantastic little drone for indoors. Now this one is an indoor only drone, and it happens to be one of my favorite indoors, but it is not my favorite. So my, my favorite is the next one coming up. But this guy does have a camera, or a built-in camera. Let me see if I can um, pull him up real quick for you. And then I'll grab him off from behind me here. So the HS420. Beautiful little, little, oh, it's right here. Beautiful little, little drone. And I really, really like it. It was one of the first smaller drones that I've I, I, I picked up from Holy Stone or received from Holy Stone. That's what the video looks like um, on my mobile device. That is actually very, very good video. And I took a couple of photos. If you actually go into my um, storefront and you find this video and you watch it, you can 
deposit there and try to blow it up and see the, um, that was a really short one. Try to see the, um, see the, spec the specifications of the, or the, the, the info on the, um, on the picture that was taken with this little drone. Now, manual, manual, kingle, manual camera adjustable, um, so you'll manually adjust the camera on this guy. Um, it comes with three batteries, so uh, it goes with the whole thing. If you've been in the FPV at all, they say th uh, 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 fly three packs a day and you become a better drone pilot. It's absolutely, absolutely true. Um, a, a, a absolutely true statement. Um, but you can charge your batteries up, fly three of these a day, fly your three batteries out every single day with this little guy. You're not going to disturb anybody unless you're flying around their head. And I wouldn't suggest you do that. <laughs> but it's a great little drone, great little small little drone. I have beat and battered this little guy to death, smacked him in the ceiling, ran him into walls. Um, I do have, and because of this, you can't see it. I have two little gates up here in the ceiling that I've flown him through. And um, I hit the gate sometime. It hits the ground. It tries to overcompensate when it, you know, and just had a ball with it. And it was, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a fantastic little drone. Again, something great to learn how to fly with. And it, there's currently a deal on it as well $39.99 is normally listed at $69.99 I think it's actually this is me speaking per, uh, uh, personally I believe it's worth it at, at either price but that 30 uh, 43 percent deal is absolutely phenomenal great gift great great one for you to take and learn how to fly with so when you go out with your more expensive drones and I show this every almost every single live stream I've got my Mini 3 Pro in here, and I know the Mini 3 just came out. Mini 3, okay, it's a nice drone. Most likely you won't see me with, with one, but I love my Mini 3 Pro. But you don't want to take something out like that or my HS720G or any of the other more expensive drones and crash them. Now, Holy Stone and DRC drones are very forgiving in a crash. And Holy Stone and DRC have a, a phenomenal uh, ab ability. They really help you to, hey, Jennifer, how are you? <laughs> thank you for dropping by and thank you for the follow. I really appreciate you. Um, just a token of my appreciation real quick. Thank you so, so much. And it's going very well. How are you doing? I wonder... Um, how close are you to being finished with your holiday shopping? <laughs> but um, it is, uh, when you, you want to do all of your bashing and crashing with something that you can fix yourself because Holy Stone and DRC, that is if you're comfortable with doing that, Holy Stone and DRC are really good at, at uh, very good, very good. Uh, Holy Stone and DRC are very good at giving you the opportunity or ability to be able to fix them because if you go to their YouTube channel, they show you how to fix the uh, replace motors. They show you how to replace arms on many of their drones. And so the, their drones are great drones to start off with and learn how to fly with before you start. And even some of the more expensive ones like the DE-22 is a phenomenal um, uh, drone as well. Uh, they have the H s360 that is a, also a phenomenal drone these drones have gimbals on them i've tried them uh, i haven't tried the de22 from drc but i have tried the hs um, 360 i actually have it here on the floor behind me didn't put it in to, to to the carousel because it doesn't seem to be a deal on it i don't believe going on right now so i didn't drop it in there for today but great drones to start off with absolutely great to start off with now, now the next one is my favorite it is absolutely my favorite it comes with three colors i noticed that there's a deal on this particular one today so uh, on the red one so i've dropped that down in the carousel for you to check out absolutely fantastic fantastic drone absolutely fantastic drone so this little guy right here now he's pretty close to the same size if not just a just a hair larger than the 420 they're, no, they're actually about the same size. This one is probably a little bit lighter, even though my 
my scale seems to be a little bit off today. Let's take a look and see which one of them is actually lightest of the two. Now, I love this 18 grams and 22 grams. So this guy's lighter, but so much fun, so much fun. Now, you will not, he doesn't have a camera on him, but so much fun to fly. And I absolutely love this little guy. So check this out. Let's see. I think I'm in the wrong place here. Do, 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 do. Holy stone. <laughs> I was going to show you the, the DRC 210, which is not a drone. <laughs> here you go. What is going on? My name is Alton, and this is the Holy Stone HS210. As I am showing you now, this little guy can really whip around. It's pretty fast. It's got three speeds, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So the HS210, of course, does not have a camera, so you don't have to worry about connecting your cell phone or downloading any apps. You can just fly this guy and have a ball just with the remote. So what comes in the box with this guy is the Holy Stone HS210, three batteries, a multi-battery charger, the controller, a full set of spare props, a prop removal tool, a screwdriver, and an instruction manual. This is an awesome, cool little indoor race drone. I'm telling you, and I say race drone because if you put it in the top speed, you'll realize it is a race drone. So you got this nice little cool plastic body and you have these prop guards on it. Your front props are red, your back props are black. And on the bottom you have a nice little slide battery compartment. And then there are some status LED lights in the front and the rear of the drone. And the controller is extremely simple. It is it is truly a fantastic little drone. It is phenomenal. I almost ran into myself quite a few times with it. And it is truly a great dr drone, again, to learn with. You don't have to worry about an app. You don't have to worry about connecting to your mobile device. You can just whip this guy around and have fun with it. There's a blue and a green version as well. Absolutely had a fantastic time flying this awesome little drone around. This is one of the most perfect gifts that I could possibly think of. And again, three different colors. So you could get one for if you have three kids or three individuals that you know that would love to race these around, you can get the three different colors and have so much fun with them. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sure there's somebody in your family that would absolutely love to have this little drone. Have an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to talking to you again in a future video. It's just too much fun. Just too much fun. Oh, I absolutely love this little guy. Um, he only comes with two. No, he comes with three batteries as well. Three batteries. Let me just make sure that I'm. Yeah, uh, uh, comes with three batteries. So again, throw three batteries in there and fly them around and get better at flying. And the good thing about this guy is you do not have to use your. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's extremely fast. <laughs> it's extremely fast. And that was, um, as I was flying it, and I almost hit myself at the end of that video, uh, I had it, because this one has three speeds. Um, so it was in the top speed, and um, I almost ran into myself. So, so much fun. He does come in two different colors, uh, three different colors. There's a blue one and a green one. There are different listings here on Amazon, but the blue and the green, they happen to be, um, uh, they, they don't seem to be on deal right now. So I don't have them in the carousel. No, normally I do throw them in the carousel. Now, they're, they're the exact same drone, uh, but I, uh, for some reason, this is the one that's on deal right now, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, it's extremely fast, extremely fast. And like I said, one of my favorites. Again, I don't have to tie up my mobile device to fly this guy absolutely fantastic so i'm gonna jump off of the drones for a little bit that's usually my main main my main subject during these live streams and with the content that i create i share a lot of stuff though i really do but I, um, because it's on deal i wanted to share with you today also my favorite helicopter and this is again something great for the winter time flying indoors. Now I have three. I, I want to say that I have the um, another helicopter on the way. I can't remember if I have an, the other. D, um, DRC actually has four helicopters. I have three of them. Um, but this one is my favorite one out of all of them that happens to be also on deal today. 
which is fantastic. Um, it is currently $26.36, which I think is phenomenal. And I just love the way it flies. I think it's a fantastic little helicopter to fly. It is toy grade, absolute toy grade. Anytime, anytime you have a balance, uh, balance rod on the top of a, a helicopter, it's toy grade. Um, you're not going to be doing any modifications to this, even though it does come with spare parts for you to, you know, do some repairs, additional props and all that kind of stuff. It is still a toy grade helicopter. Um, I was thinking at one point that I might want to get um, at some point a get into hobby grade helicopters as well. I'm not too sure that that's um, that I'm ever going to really pursue that. I'm into fixed wing drones and loosely into RC vehicles, uh, uh, ground vehicles, cars. I like bashers mostly. I don't really like, uh, well, I do, I will run um, crawlers. They are interesting and sometimes kind of cool, but um, my primary my primary focus, what I really like is the bashers as far as the, the four wheel drive bashers as far as the cars are concerned and the um, uh, uh, heli um, uh, drones, camera drones, and FPV, as well as fixed wing. I love my fixed wing aircraft as well. And I've actually built in later in the in, in the um, in the live stream before we before we leave here. I'll show you or share with you my my fixed wing that my very first foam fixed wing that I built over here from Flight Test. I, I'll share that with you real quick. Um, and I'll be talking about some of the tools that I've used that I. I've gotten also from Amazon in order to build that guy. So, uh, in the future. So this is the DE DE fifty one. I know you didn't come here to hear me sing, did you? <laughs> what is going on? My name is Alton, and this is my favorite indoor RC helicopter, the DRC D fifty one. Now the DRC D fifty one is a fantastic little helicopter. To get you acclimated and used to flying helicopters this one this is something that I've personally just got into and I've been enjoying flying helicopters but this one happens to be my favorite so what comes in the box is the DRC DE 51 two batteries an extra body shell the controller a charging cable an accessory package with extra props and an instruction manual you want to make sure that you read through your instruction manual the transmitter itself is very simple and I'll just say this when you first look at this controller it does seem a little bit intimidating because you have a ton of of buttons that are not actually marked but as you begin to fly it and you keep your manual close by you'll get used to what those buttons are and be able to control it with no problem whatsoever it has a run time of 10 minutes per battery it has a charge time of 60 minutes per battery a transmission range of 50 meters and remote control requires three AAA batteries and it of course is rated for ages 14 and up again this is a fantastic little helicopter or my favorite and the, the primary reason that this is my favorite is because you can continue your forward movement and turn at the same time which i think is absolutely fantastic so again here we are with another fantastic drc product thank you so much for stopping by i truly hope this helped you in some way have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll talk to you again in a future video So much fun, so much fun to fly that guy around. I truly, truly enjoy it. And I, I actually have, I have, I've got to find time to fly this guy a little bit more so I can get better. But eh, I may or may not, but like I said, I'm really not leaning toward getting into uh, helicopters as much at full hobby grade. But this is a ton of fun to fly. And um, I think somebody asked me before, could it carry a insta 360 go to and i have still have not tried that yet um just putting it on the skids i may i may try that the only reason why and the, i guess the main reason why i really like the helicopters is because i um, used to work on helicopters in the in, in the in the military i worked on um not the avionics i worked on weapon systems on cobras apaches and 58 d's and i'm hoping that at some point i'll be able to get my hands on a replica rc replica of a cobra or an apache 
or a even a black hawk because i at one point wanted to become a black hawk pilot that didn't happen <laughs> obviously but well maybe it's not obvious but it didn't happen so that's okay though but i really do uh really like the helicopters and that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm i am interested in them but that's one of my favorite ones to fly around i think it's really cool so um it's going to be interesting trying to learn how to get around obstacles and all that kind of stuff now people do some crazy things with with uh with some uh, hobby grade helicopters 3d flights it's ridiculous i don't think i'll be doing that ever but it's just pretty cool so the next one <laughs> So many things um, that, I, that I just enjoy. Uh, the next one is the uh, DRC brushless, uh, the two, 2104 brushless RC uh, boat. This guy is ridiculous. Love this thing. Absolutely love it. I don't have a demo, but I'm going to show you a clip from the video that I actually uploaded to Amazon here for this awesome, awesome uh, boat really quickly currently 89.99 down from 99.99 which is great nice size boat and one that you can't you, you just can't roll it over um, and I tried so if you really want to see this if you go to the product page you can see the full video in in full resolution but this is just a little bit of the video I have it muted because I don't think you'd be able to see uh, or hear um, the sound from it anyway, but you I don't know you can you see that little dot right there flying that is this boat Ridiculously fast. I was Completely surprised and amazed at just how how quick it was. It's just an awesome awesome little boat To the point where at some at some points full speed into a turn Let's See if I can go a little bit forward here in the video because I have some more footage of it uh, toward the end. Here we go. Um, if you're going full speed into a turn, it will, it will actually flip over. Um, and what I mean flip, it will flip completely. And it just did in that part of the video. It's just ridiculous how fast this thing is and uh, how much fun it is. It's so much fun to, to, it's just so much fun to run. So, um, so you have your top plate here. You'll take that off. Um, and then this is one thing I thought was kind of interesting about it. Then you have this plate. Now, this one, you'll have to be aware when you connect the battery to this guy, it does not have an on off switch. As soon as you turn on your controller, your prop is active. It does not have to be in the water. So you want to be aware of that. I was not, I was not aware of that. Um, uh, not to the point where it caused me any issues, but um, I just did. I just didn't know that. So it will turn itself on before touching the water, and then you have this little panel, this water uh, uh, water sealed that you can put your battery in. If you want to get to the rest of the electronics, you'll take these tabs off, and that's how you get to the rest of your electronics. But truly, a fast, fast boat. Again. This is not one that I would get for anyone. Um, I think it's rated 14 and up. I would not purchase this for any kid that is not at least teenage. I mean, you know, you know, uh, use your discretion. Um, they do have a nice little thing on the back here to warn you about the prop. But again, this is one that um, I think this is the only one of the DRC boats that I have that comes on before it's in the water you do have led lights on the front and on the rear but um it the prop is active before it touches the water so you want to be aware of that make sure that you are very uh, for safety purposes keep your hands away from the prop and um and then just put it in the water i would say hold it from the top when you place it in the water so your hands are free or away from the prop but absolutely fantastic fantastic um uh boat and i do i think it's awesome i absolutely love it um again 99.99 great great little great little rc boat um so the next couple of things i have here in the carousel should be uh products that you can 
purchase if you're do, trying to do some last minute shopping these are absolutely fantastic so this one is a nice four-wheel drive little rc car it's the de69 and i like this guy because it has led so if i turn my lights off over here let's see if i can do that just enough you can see that you can barely see the leds flashing and then turn it on and then you have a button here it does you see smoke coming out of the back that's just awesome and then you can change your pattern turn the smoke off and then you have your fill at the top and it's got a really pretty large uh, a pretty large water reservoir in there so you can fill it from the top it does come with a dropper for you to put your water in i actually put distilled water in there so it would keep it from getting a bunch of the um anything that would cause uh cause you know corrosion inside inside the the that's a lot of a lot of steam there anything that would cause corrosion and then again four-wheel drive and then you have your steering nice little car nice little car and a uh, ton of fun comes with a single battery and like I said a little water dropper this one is actually from a different a different um, car I was using that to fill this guy up but absolutely fantastic little car is and, and it's just a, a ton of fun um, didn't there wasn't it doesn't seem to be any deals on this guy either so there's very few things that i dropped in my carousel that didn't have a deal on them this happened to be one of them but it's an absolutely great little car um to to share with family members or give as a gift fantastic i, I and like i said it's a crawler not the ones that i get the most excited about but it is a really nice little vehicle and i, I do like it especially running that around at nighttime if i had some little kids around or when my nephews my little nephews come around i'll take that guy out and run it around and let him chase it around the house and even hand him a controller and let him run around with it but it's an absolutely great little car now this next one which is the d um this one is the uh what is that 8600 the d it's not d i don't think it's just the drc 8600 e if i remember correctly I've got so many I'm trying to keep track of the 8600E. Yep. So check this out. Pretty fast little car. Love this it. is the DRC 8600E, a 22 scale little four wheel drive car. This is absolutely awesome. I love the new body style, which is very similar to the body style of the 001E. This has to be one of the smallest and most beginner RC hobby grade cars you will ever find anywhere i have not seen one this small with a removable body and possible replacement parts and upgrades it's just fantastic so what comes in the box is the drc 8600e the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter two batteries a charging cable an accessory package and a user manual and as i always say make sure that you read the user manual as well as the cautions of battery manual that comes with most of their products and a quick walk around the drc 8600e you have the colorful and flexible pvc Okay, I'm not gonna really go durable through. transmission distance of 100 meters. It is a I'm not going to go through the entire video. But again, if you would like to see the video on this, you should be able to find it on my storefront. So go ahead and check that out there. But you can see it's got a little bit of speed to it. It's small enough to be run indoors. You can actually slow it down using the um, uh, the speed trim in on the remote. But again, nice nice little nice little rc car and you can see like i said i was out jumping a ramp with it and all of that and just having fun with it absolutely fantastic little car it's pretty durable and if you look i'll uh, go back here in the video in just a second let's see if i can find it real quick let's pause and see if we can find that really quickly so that's the car it's got some reinforcement on the chassis um, you see that velcro there holds the battery down 
reinforcement on the chassis and your motors right there in the center. Now, the reason why I call this beginner hobby grade is because, because, anyway, I, <laughs> I had a, uh, um, a Wizard of Oz flashback for a second. Um, the reason why I call this beginner hobby, hobby grade is because you can possibly change your motor out. You may be able to get a small receiver and throw it in this guy and be able to get some really fast speeds with it. So it's a good possibility you could do that. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic little car. And I like it. Like I said, I like bashers. This is a basher. Um, uh, currently, there is a deal, 8% off. And that makes it $45.99. And the, like I said, it comes with two batteries. Just an awesome, awesome little vehicle. I like the body as well. I think it's a really nice little body on this guy. So, yeah, that is the 8600E. And then the next one is basically the brother, sister, however you want to see it, of the um what is that the 60 uh, the de69 that i shared earlier which is the de68 and that's this guy um i do not have the batteries in them i don't believe no there is batteries in there but i don't think did i leave batteries in the controller and i did well look at there so <laughs> i was pretty sure i took taking the batteries out of this guy so just like the other one, this one also has a spray coming out of your nice little, oops, I haven't turned these lights back on yet, out of your nice little exhaust here. And it's momentary. I may not have a lot of water left in there because I had this thing running constantly. He has headlights, tail lights if you're going in reverse. Um, one of the things that I noticed is for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of my wheels must have slipped off a little, uh, slipped off of the, um, the, because it did seem to be wobbling a little bit on me. So these wheels or tires are not glued on. And I was wondering, as I was watching it in, uh, watching back one of my demo videos i created a demo for it it's this wheel seemed to be wobbling and i didn't know why well now i know why it's because somewhere down the line i had knocked the, i knocked the wheel off of it so now now it's not wobbling anymore perfect like i said two wheel drive not uh, uh rear wheel drive essentially nice little car your you know, fill for your water is right here on this side and um Again, another one that is great for a uh, great little gift for anybody that you would, might want to give this to. Um, I call it I call it the Moon Rover. That's my personal personal name or uh, for it, because like I said, I just think it's a really nice little, really nice little vehicle, really nice little vehicle. The Moon Rover, and that's what it looks like. It's made for to me, or you know, in Antarctica. It says explore high speed off road, um, cross country. Maybe you're going into the snow or whatever. Now, I will tell you, I'm waiting. It takes a little bit of time for us to see snow here in northern VA. But uh, when I start to see the snow, I'm possibly going to take these guys out and see what they can do in the snow. I'm actually going to try to see if I can. I want to do some upgrades to a couple of them if I can to see if I can take them out and. Um, actually have put a I'm gonna try to 3d print a, uh, a, a snow plow for the front of one of my RC cars and see if I can get it to help plow my driveway as it starts to snow our snows are pretty light so it should be able to handle it with no problem <laughs> so the next one is from Ruko and I actually have two of them in the carousel from Ruko one of them has a deal on it more so than the other but they are fantastic little, um, um, fantastic little vehicles, and um, I think they're great because they're amphibious vehicles. Now, Ruko did have an amphibious vehicle back in the day. I think it was a C11. I do have the C11, um, 
it was pretty nice, but it couldn't swim very well. That's one of the things I, I said about it. It just didn't swim very well. Wasn't the best swimmer. But um, they did. They took it, did some upgrades, and came out with these two vehicles that are absolutely phenomenal. I think they're great. And I have them both back here. The, the 1601 AMP and the 1601 AMP2. They're both fantastic. Now, this is something that you can purchase now and have it ready for the summertime because, um, especially as there's deals coming out on these guys, two of them, if you have two kids about the same age and you want them to be able to, to run these guys around together, absolutely fantastic, fantastic little vehicles. And they are, I mean, they work very well. The bottom of them is made like a boat. Now, one of the things I noticed on the box, one of them is rated for ages three and the up, and the other one was rated for ages six or eight and up. And I don't know what the difference is. I honestly don't know. They seem exactly the same. They run the same speed, uh, working headlights, working tail lights. When you put them in reverse, they basically work like tracked vehicles. Um, and that that's how they turn. You don't have steering. You do not have shock absorbers on these guys, but they can swim. And I'm going to show you. Um, I do have demos up on Amazon for them, but um, I also have them here so that you have the opportunity to see them. Let me see if I can pull up one of them now. Let's see. What do I have? Uh, and where's the other one? So I'm going to pull these up so you can check them out really quickly. And this is just from my GoPro out on the lake. Just having fun with it. So this is this is the AM, uh, 1601 AMP. Huh. Why are you not playing? That's interesting. Oh, there we go. 1601 AMP, I had to get rid of that sound. Um, but that's the 1601 AMP, which is uh, 1602. Uh, that's the two. 1601 AMP2. That's this guy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the runtime. I had this guy running for a very long time. Have not run the batteries out. The battery may still be in there, and it is. So you see the lights, head, headlights flashing, which means I also still have the battery here. So if you want to hear what it sounds like, And so if we go in reverse, well, my, my tail lights were working. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because I wasn't going in reverse. I had the remote upside down. So in reverse, sorry about that. In reverse, the tail lights light up. And that's the same for both of them. The controllers are waterproof, so you can take these controllers and and submerge them in water and still be able to control the car which is fantastic so let's check out the other one just got this going so the uh, amp which is now 99 dollars, which is fantastic as well i mean that's 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 a great price let me see if i can pull him up for you do do do, do. i don't know why okay here we go and we're going to go ahead and close that guy so we don't need him anymore. And open this guy up for you so you can check it out. And let's come back just a little bit. And let's mute that and bring it back up for you. So this is the AMP. You saw the two first. And like I said, you can submerge this. It's got a belt clip on the back. So if you take it to a swimming pool, they can actually get in the water swimming with the truck in the water. And then they can control this under the water. It's not going to damage the, the um, controller at all. So let's see. And like I said, power button on the top. And do we... Yeah, I must have took the batteries out of this guy. So I need to take the batteries out of him. But... 
still have batteries in the controller because the batteries, the battery compartment is screwed shut. So you will need to, did I actually, oh yeah, it stopped. So you will need to, um, but this is just, just an awesome, uh, they're, they're awesome little vehicles and just phenomenal. I, I, I was, it blew my mind. I thought, I was like, this is, this is just awesome, you know? Um, I haven't taken them out and raced them against each other yet. At some point, my, my youngest son is going to come and hang out with me, and he'll probably help me create some, some videos and whatnot. But um, we, me and him may have to take these out on the lake and, and, and run them around and chase each other around and stuff with them. The other thing that these are probably good for is um, you could use them. Now, the, your battery actually goes in the top. So there's a screw in the back here for both of these are the exact same. You take that screw off, that's the top panel. And then there's another panel inside here that ho holds your battery. They come with two batteries each. Um, the AMP2, for some reason, has Velcro on it. So the battery has Velcro to hold it toward the rear of the vehicle. And then the AMP doesn't seem to have that don't know why it doesn't seem to matter but the battery compartment is large enough for you to put both batteries in but you can't connect both batteries there's only one connector so you could put both batteries in there have one uh, have them both charged up in there for storage when the battery runs out on one you can just take that take it um, take the top off connect the other battery close it back up and you still have both batteries in there so um, absolutely fantastic so much fun and I, I i did i love i love love running those guys again they're crawlers um not something that i'll totally get into but because of the fact that you can take these out on the water is just phenomenal to me i just i, I just i just think they're awesome <laughs> you know so that's pretty much everything i have in my carousel um of course i have my iron flask I, you, if you've been around for five minutes Almost every single one of my videos, I have my my um, iron flask tumbler and my iron flask water bottle. I'm looking at trying out a couple of others uh, from other manufacturers. I have no relationship with iron flask. Uh, I am affiliated with them, but I, outside of that, I have no real re relationship with them. And this was purchased for me as a gift for my wife. That's how I found out about them. I'm like, it's awesome. I still have coffee in there from this morning. It's starting to cool. It is starting to cool. But normally, up until lunchtime, my coffee was still hot enough that if I drank it too fast, it could burn my tongue. This guy will hold water forever. Nice and um, nice and nice and nice and cold. So, like I said, I'm looking at trying some others. If I do find other tumblers and water bottles that work for me, I'll be sure to share them with you as well. And of course, um, if you're getting into RC, especially as much as I am, you need something like this guy. I have a couple of 300 watt um, uh, power stations. This one happens to be my favorite. And so if you're looking to get into RC or you just need something to make sure that you have something for your uh, as a backup to keep your phones charged in case of a power outage to put lights on at nighttime if you happen to be you know uh dealing with you know again dealing with a power outage you want to make sure that you have the ability to um keep your you know keep keep things lit and maybe you need to shave or whatever it is or just have something that you can plug a radio in to so that you can know what's going on um again keeping lights on in case you don't want to run a generator at nighttime um, these things are quiet every now and then this one i have not heard the fan i do not remember ever hearing the fan come on um it does not seem to overheat i haven't put any really really heavy duty things on it as far as um uh i haven't put anything really heavy duty on it as far as pulling current or anything but um it is truly a, a fantastic little fantastic little um uh, power station let me see, I think I have a little bit of additional information. Check this out. What is going on? My name is Altone and this is the Landnor 300 watt power station. 
So this is an awesome little power station. I don't know if you know this or not, but I do a lot of RC, cars, drones, all of that. And I actually carry this guy out, keeping my batteries charged so that I can just have a full day of fun. But this is also a fantastic power station for the purpose of having it in case of emergency. It has quite a few connections on it and features. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So what comes in the box is the Landnor P280 power station, an AC adapter, a USB-C cable, a 12 volt car charging cable, and a user manual. So on the top, this power station has a carry handle. Then you have your detailed LCD screen, an LED flashlight with three levels of brightness, a flash and an SOS pattern, a DC input connector for charging, the DC 9 volt to 12 volt output connectors, a USB-C charge port, three USB-A charge port, one being a quick charge port, and an AC 110 volt output connector. And some of the specifications of this power station are that it has a detailed display screen which communicates a bunch of information, 78,000 milliamp hour capacity, 300 watt rated power, supports charging and recharging multiple types of devices, can be charged via solar panel, weighs seven pounds, and has a number of built-in protections to protect this power station. So I do use this power station regularly, not just for emergencies, and it is currently my favorite of all of my 300 watt power stations. So I truly hope that this helped you out in some way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll talk to you again in a future video. Like I said, absolutely fantastic power station. I really do love it. That's my favorite one, 300 watts. I don't have any greater than 300 watts at this point, though, as I do, and I get and I get to try them out or test them out. And if I have great experiences with them, I will absolutely make sure that I share them with you here first. <laughs> um, the last two products that I have on the in the carousel case, and I always make sure to add them if you're purchasing um, uh, RC products or anything else that requires batteries. You want to make sure that you get yourself some batteries i keep these these are actually in in have been used this is my battery checker which is still available here on amazon um, and my all of my duracell batteries that's basically what we do we stock up so this is not all of the batteries that i have i have so i've got a case full um storage full of uh, batteries back there so the chance of us actually running out of batteries is pretty slim. Um, so, <laughs> and you know, I'm always testing products and, and things that require batteries, so I always have them available. They work great for us, and so we use them. And that's that. So I'll make sure I do add them in the carousel. If I have anything in the carousel that requires batteries, and if I do find another brand that I get the opportunity to try out and they work well for me, I'll make sure I share them here as well. So. That's pretty much it for today. That's what I had to share with you. I hope that you had an opportunity to grab a hold of anything that you saw in the carousel that might be of value to you or gift ideas. I will say this, we still have a few more days before it's too late to receive packages before December, 24, uh, December 25th. So make sure that you're aware. I'm going to be going live on Monday, um, uh, also sharing some home products. I may do another tech or uh, drone product review depending, or uh, product live stream depending. Uh, all of my live streams have drones in them. Um, but depending on what's, what, what deals there are going on, I'll probably be back on Monday. So make sure that you hit follow. I usually don't um, post my, or schedule them out earlier than the morning of. So make sure that you actually hit that follow button hit like if this has actually been of any value to you whatsoever and make sure that you uh, uh, come back and see me on monday because i'm sure i'll have some other products here that will be uh, beneficial for you and great deals on that you can actually receive prior to the 25th of december so wanted to make sure that you knew that you're aware of it so if I don't see you, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that. But I do hope that you'll come back. Have an absolutely 
absolutely fantastic day and uh, and <laughs> oh this is the other thing i always like to end my live streams off with this is it's, it's, uh, to me it's just cool so on behalf of the flight crew thank you for flying with us almost forgot about that <laughs> thank you so much again for stopping by and hanging out with me have some ha have a fantastic weekend and i look forward to seeing you hopefully on monday i'll be back see you then <laughs>